All right, well, it's a cold winter's morning here in Dandenong at Wigby Engineering. And today I'm gonna to show you through a recent job we've completed, the 79 series dual cab with a customer supply extension. Now this customer is going to be using this for long trips, getting out remote, long time between um, between fuel stops, between fill ups. So they've gone for a 105 litre head full tank. Now this is something we do for our 79s, we do them for our Rams, and this is to just increase that fuel load. Now this sits in the headboard here, so it's got baffles in there as well to stop sloshing, fuel sloshing around. On top of that's also mounted the compressor system for his airbag setup and his air and his air setup as well. Fuel feeds through this filler, goes into that tank in the headboard, and then also gravity feeds down into the main tank. Now the air system is obviously plumbed up to the bags that the customer's fitted to this car. We've catered for his air system in this toolbox here. So that's got your ups and downs. It's got Schrader valves uh, for each bag as well, so you can fill up manually with an air hose. Uh, you've also got your air auto leveling kit air chuck to go into the tank and then you gauge for your airbags as well. Now it's got twin needles there as well. So you can see what bag is running what pressure. Rear toolbox, like all our toolboxes, all sealed. Now as always with all of our builds, we cater for our customers' needs. This customer wanted something very specific. Uh, he's big on his hunting and wanted to be able to store his guns in his canopy. Now to do that, we've installed a lockable gun box at the top of the canopy here. So it's got two locks on it, under the locks. And that's your gun storage right there. Now I think you can fit two guns in here. Now it's just that little add a bit of extra storage, You're obviously using that room at the top to get rid of um, that dead space. It doesn't really get used to hell of a lot of canopies. So perfect position for a gun box to go on top. Continuing on this side of the canopy, we've got a 40 litre Evercool draw fridge. Quite popular um, when this side of the car gets used for more of your storage. Then you've got your twin drawer system as always. Lots of storage in here. Moving around to the back of the car, we've got our basic twin jerry can set up. We've also got a spare wheel mount holder. We've also got two mounts for spares in the headboard of this tray. So when the canopy does get taken off, the sides get put on, that's where the spares can go on this tray as well. Down below, we've got our 900mm rear drawer. We've also got shelf, so that can be moved to edit or it can just be taken out altogether. And that's just for that extra sort of prep space, table space. Underneath, we've got our tap coming from our six litre gravity fed water tank. You can also option this up to a water pump if, no, if need be. Uh, this customer's just gone for the gravity fed for now. So on top of the roof, we've got our customer supplied push company rooftop tent sitting on our pods there that go on top of the canopy. Moving around to the passenger side. Now this customer's getting his 12 volt fitted uh, elsewhere. So we've allowed space for the 12 volt system to go in. We've still got the lighting, so the fridges and all this in there ready to go. 85 litre Bushman fridge in our Quigley Engineering fridge surrounds. Now this has also got a nice and neat little feature underneath it that we can fit in the 79s. And that's your cutlery drawer and table underneath the fridge. Now due to the high headboard on the 79, we can fit that cutlery drawer with the 85 litre fridge only. Next to the fridge, you've got a pantry mounted with the Kick-Ass Travel Buddy. Good use of space as always, using all the way up to the roof. And next to the pantry, also another, another drawer. Now the internals of this canopy were built to customer specifications. Now on the driver's side, he wanted the Evercore 40 litre fridge. So we've built 
the drawers to suit the same height as well as then you go shelf on top, all the same height. On the other side, the customer wanted everything at the same height, so you've got the same height drawer, using as much space as we can to get pantry and get fridge. To see more of this build or previous builds, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.